Tommy Scruen is in dire straits. For the last six months, residents only had water for two hours a day. This was barely enough for them. For farmers like Pulu Hanukom, it's been an emotional roller coaster. We have never seen this that you are dependent on water donations. We have always had little water and we know how to use it sparingly. But the help came rolling in. We've got a truck coming down from Joburg, which we were fortunate we had the funds to purchase that water. Uh, then we had a big donation from a guy in Mikey's Fontaine. And then the gentleman, the owner of the truck, he also donated a large amount and the rest is from the public. I'm very excited about that because a lot of people that are suffering and do not have fresh water will have water now and uh, amongst everybody in town uh, that will be a great help for us. More water will arrive over the next few days to assist this parched town. Oudswering, another drought-stricken town, is next on the list for water warriors. And while communities like Kamiskroen are happy about the water donations, they're still hoping that it will rain and the drought will be broken. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kamiskroen, in the Northern Cape.